Dear learners, I am Ahmed Noman Sadek. Today, I would like to draw a new topographical route through Black Wall Tunnel. So, here is a Black Wall Tunnel. So, I have to draw a route from this green marker to red marker. This route is very important. So, please watch it very carefully. And today, I would like to draw this route very quickly. But before that, please remember that just watching the videos, will not usually make you pass. You need to practice on real software if you want to pass this topographical assessment first time. Actually, some people come to me after failing first time and the reason behind they told me is that they just watched the videos and took this exam very easy and appeared in the exam and re resultantly they failed. So please don't take a risk as it would be a just wastage of time and your money. You need to practice on computer at least one or two times before appearing in the actual topographical assessment. Yes, one in 200 could pass just by watching the videos, but please don't take a risk. Now I will start drawing this route. Here is green marker, which could be considered as our starting point of the route. And here is the end point, which is always the red marker. So you need to draw a most direct route between green and red marker. So first of all, you need to plan your route. And it is very obvious that if you want to go from green to red marker, there is a river Thames in between. And you could only go if you want to follow the most direct route. You have to go through this tunnel, which is a black wall tunnel. So first of all, we need to enter into the black wall tunnel. So there might be several possibilities, but I, I will always try to follow the most direct route. So I will make it bigger like this. So which possibilities might be? So you can come from here, here and from here. Some people try to go here. So this is totally wrong because this is actually a slip road, which is coming from north towards the south. So it is coming like this and this is one way. You can't go into this direction. So if you come from here and go through here under this uh, uh, flyover, some people what they do, they try to go in this direction. Although Google map allows this, but this map doesn't allow. So if you do like this, you will be getting zero marks. So this point is very important to understand that we have to follow this map, not the Google map. So the other possibility to enter into the round, into the black wall tunnel would be you could come like this, like this, and you can go through. The second possibility could be you could come like this here, here, and this is a flyover. You could go through or go underneath around this roundabout, and then ultimately you would be able to enter into the black wall tunnel. There might be some other possibilities as well, but none of this is the most direct possibilities. But I will let you know the most direct route, the minimum distance to enter into the black wall tunnel. So what is that? What might be that? If you go through here, here and around this roundabout, if you go through and enter into this small street like this, like this, please be careful and watch it very carefully. So when you will reach here, this road is at the top and the tunnel, which is the black wall tunnel is underneath. It is underneath underground and underwater as well. So what you need to do is you will come and here you will turn left and through this tunnel avenue, you will enter here and from here only in the middle of this. These are actually three openings. One is this, second is this, third is this. This if you are coming from here, you can only enter into the tunnel through this opening because this is exit. This is also exit. If you are coming and you enter from here or you enter from here into the black wall tunnel, you will be getting zero marks. And it is very clear by just observing the shape. This is exit. This is exit. And you can only enter from here. Now let's draw. So this is my starting point. I will make it bigger. That is, I will zoom in and start from this green marker and I will keep my route towards the left hand side of the road like this. And here it is a roundabout. I will try to make it curve because TFL will always see whether you have seen the roundabout and TFL can only judge 
if you make a proper curve like this. Now I have entered into this small street like this, like this and I am going through slowly so that you could understand it better. So I am zooming in and drawing the route like this but when I will reach here, here I am going through but the thing is I have to reach here and at this point I will be able to turn left. So here you go. You will go like this here from here you will turn left and here still you are at the top and the tunnel is underneath. So always remember this tunnel this road is at the top and tunnel is underneath. So now you have entered into the tunnel avenue. So this is actually the tunnel avenue and you must keep yourself towards the left hand side of the road. So when you will reach here you would not be able to go from this uh, this opening. So what you need to do you will go like this here this part is very important and then you will enter here into the tunnel approach. When you will enter into the tunnel approach this is one way tunnel and then you would be able to enter into the tunnel from this point. Now you are in the tunnel which is underground underneath and this is a one one way tunnel and how can you recognize that this is a one way tunnel? So always remember if one line is thin and the other is thick it's one way. So this is one way tunnel this is also a one way tunnel but how can you determine that the which direction to go through? The thing is always keep your journey towards the thick side. So you need to keep yourself towards the thick side. So if you keep yourself here it means you are going in this direction. This is one way to understand. The other way to understand is always keep yourself towards the thick side then your face will be in the direction of your journey. It means you are going here in this direction and if you consider this you have to come in this direction. So I will continue from here. So I will continue and I can keep in the middle of this tunnel as well because it is a one way. So I will go through this. So it is one way tunnel. So I am going through here and it is again I am telling it is underground underwater. So this is nothing. This road is at the top but you are going underneath. So here you go again. This is a flyover. This is a roundabout on the ground. This is a flyover and you are even going under. That is underneath. So here again you will continue like this. Again this road is at the top. So don't worry about that. You will go through like this. When you will reach here at this point then you have to decide where to go. So if you want to go left this is the only way to go left or here. If you want to go straight you have to go under and go straight. If you want to go right then you have to go under then come out and go like this. But where we have to go? Our end point is here towards left. It means we have to go through this slip road. So I will turn left like this and I will keep my route like this. When I will reach here now I am on the ground and here again this is a flyover and this roundabout is on the ground. So I will follow this roundabout that is I am going under this flyover. So don't worry if even if it is touching this line. The reason is this line is actually it is drawn but it actually represents the root in a tunnel which is underground. So don't worry about that even if it is touching. So I will reach here and I will go through this way. If I go through this way please see is there any way to reach the end point. So there will be the way but it will be the longer one. So instead of going here if I continue on this way it will be the better route and I will be ultimately reach at this point. So I will simply undo a little bit. So there is a magic button undo. If you make any mistake you can you can simply press undo button. So this is undo button. I have pressed it. It will, it will take you one step back if you press one time. So I will go in this direction here like this like this and what you need to do you will continue your route like this here, here. I will draw the route and here again it's a roundabout. So through this roundabout I will take a clockwise motion that is here in this direction. Then what you need to do 
you will have to go through this this is a railway line but i have to come here i would not be able to enter here because this is one way so what i need to do is i will come here here and ultimately i would be able to reach at this point so i will continue my journey like this here here like this and from here i will continue this is railway line here i would not be able to go through here because this is one way again i will go here and i will keep myself under these words to make this route better so ultimately here this one way is actually starting here so i can go in this direction so ultimately i have reached at the red point so this is most direct route between green and red marker please watch this route once more especially this por portion so if you understand this portion it will be very good for you because this is very important topographical route and that's the end of today's presentation thank you very much